Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Um, today, we're going to be going over our Flex Tip Nano system, and I'm so excited because it dawned on me. Um, this system is so new that not everyone yet has had a chance to see it or even knows what it is or what that even means. So thank you so much for coming. I want to get started with the slides, so let's jump right in and take a look. Let me get to the right page. So I wanted you to know I've created this webinar with a professional stylist in mind, but if you aren't and you're just here because you're curious, that's also fine too. Um, there's no dumb questions. I'm here to help the best I can. So if you do have any questions, just let me know and we'll go from there. So my name is Melinda, but I'm also known as Doc on many of the older hair communities. I'm a licensed cosmetologist in Washington and also in BC, Canada, and I'm a licensed cosmetology educator as well. And probably the most important thing for the sake of this webinar is that I have owned Dr. Locke's hair extensions for 18 years, and I've been specializing in extensions now for about 20 years. So I've got quite a bit of experience, and I've seen a lot of things, and I'm really excited about this system in particular. So before we go too deep into our presentation, just a quick reminder to turn off your distractions, and here we go. So also, not that you need me to, to bribe you to be here, but I'm going to tell you how you can get our Pro Nano Starter Kit for $30 off today. So stick around till the end and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So tell me a little bit about you guys. Have you ever felt like you were limited by what nature gave your clients? As a stylist, it can be pretty frustrating when your client comes in with an image of what they want, but they don't have enough hair to pull it off, right? Oh, I see Crystal is here from BC too. Shout out to you. That's super awesome. I love BC. Um, so I know that when we kind of when your clients come in and you can't give them exactly what they want, that's that is a super frustrating situation. So do you ever feel like you need more tools to create those dramatic hair makeovers? Because we're going to get into those right away. So how many of you have tried other methods and have been frustrated with some aspect of the installation process? So maybe you've tried a system and your bonds were like enormous or the attachment points just didn't sit right or they were super hard to remove. Um, that's kind of all behind you with this system. So let me know if any of the following statements resonate with you. You want to be able to create hair extension transformations without the risk of the hair looking fake. Hair can look fake from the quality being too thin at the ends, the attachment points being too obvious, or having super awkward blends. So we want to get into a system that avoids all of that. Maybe you've tried other hair extension systems, but they've all kind of come up short. Like each system has their own set of drawbacks. So maybe you want something without big, big glues or heavy bonds or beads. Now, before we get too deep into this, I just want to stop here for a moment and point out that even though I am not a fan of the methods in this picture, um, there isn't anything necessarily wrong with these. Um, it's whatever works for you and works for your client, so please don't be embarrassed if your work looks like this. I'm just here to show you some ways that you might like better and some things that you could do to kind of help dial that in. So maybe you want something that doesn't take all day to install. So in this picture, that is a whole lot of bonds, you guys, and if it's gonna take you all day to put in, that is gonna be a really long removal too. So 
<laughs> goes in both directions, right? So our goal is to create gorgeous, flowing, long hair, but quickly. These are some of our Flex Tip Nanos in action. These were installed by Ashley Cano. You can follow her extension work on Instagram. All of her transformations are absolutely jaw-dropping, just gorgeous. So what will you learn today? Why are we here? I mean, besides that you wanted to hang out and chat and share good vibes, right? <laughs> you can see some of you are already like talking on the chat. That's so awesome. But what we're really going to hear to do is to talk about what the Flex Tip Nano System actually is, all of its parts, all of its features. You're going to see it side by side with other extension systems so that you can see how the attachments compare. And I'm going to show you what benefits your clients can expect over other systems. And I also want to share with you how much money you need to invest, but also how much money you can make by adding the Flex Tip Nanos as a service in your salon. I want to share with you a bit about how I got here and became obsessed with hair extensions to begin with. Like, how did my journey do this? So maybe you can relate to some of this. 20 years ago, my hair pretty much sucked. <laughs> it refused to grow, and maybe you can relate to some of this yourself. But my hair would always break when it would get to a certain length. <laughs> maybe your hair does that too. Mine is terribly disobedient. And even when it does grow, the ends just look really awkwardly thin. So it would get to a certain point and then it just, it just looks bad anyway. And then when it would get longer, I would get frustrated and then I would just go and chop it off. So it would always be the same cycle. I would really want that long hair but then I would let it grow and then I would get mad and then I would cut it. And so it would just be this endless cycle of just wanting something that I could never have, trying for it, and then feeling like a complete failure and then chopping it all off again. So it would just be like this endless cycle of just, it's, it's dumb. <laughs> I know a lot of us go through that. So then I found hair extensions. And I absolutely fell in love with everything that they could do. I could have instantly longer, thicker, perfect hair. And it was so magical to be able to have that control. I didn't have to wait for it to grow the months and the years. And now I could have it and absolutely have it in an afternoon and have the perfect hair in an afternoon. Not just like kind of perfect hair, but like literally the best hair ever. And it was really nice because then I didn't have to wait through any of these frustrating, awkward lengths. What I didn't expect was how it was going to impact my self-esteem. I'm literally able to reinvent myself every single day if I wanted to. And having that kind of control and power, it really just helped me project who I wanted to be into the world. And that feels awesome. So that whole same feeling, that's, that's why I started this business, why I'm here with you today. So I want that for you. I want you to get it. I want you to be able to give it to other, others as well. So that's why we're here because I want you to be able to really just – Feel like you have that self-esteem and that empowerment for yourself and then also to be able to give that to others from behind the chair as well. So we saw a little bit of Ashley's work in a previous slide. <laughs> She's such a cutie. Thank you, Nerves, for posting Ashley's Instagram link in the chat. That's super duper helpful. Um, I wanted to share a little bit more of her work with you because she's grown her business by so much using our products and she's doing really amazing work with our flex tips specifically. So in this slide, you can see a pretty thick installation. Like that is a nice full head of nanos and it starts with a client with really thick hair as well. And Ashley told us that the best feeling in the world is turning your client towards the mirror to see their reaction when you are finished. She says, I absolutely love the fullness and the hair quality of the new flex tip nanos. So in this picture, this girl has some pretty thick hair. And if you're familiar with extension work, then 
you don't need me to tell you that sometimes when you have a client with thick hair, it is a real pain to blend with extensions, but that's not the case with these flex tips. Ashley also said that her clients can get this super full hair with the length that they want because the beads are so small. She doesn't have to worry about running out of places to pack in the hair the same way that you would with like eye tips. So here's a, another really nice um, Flex Tip Nano installation. The hair is super great quality and this hair, I really love this hair specifically because the hair is such a great quality that it will hold the waves and they will stay soft all day. So imagine how this is going to feel when you aren't limited by nature anymore either and that you can truly be that beautician magician that can give these gorgeous makeovers to your client. So we need to first start by going over what this system is all about. So in the next few slides, I'm going to give you the nuts and bolts of the system, how it all fits together. So the trick to this system being so absolutely stinking perfect is because of the silicone tip. So guys, this is so crazy. Um, the tips are actually really squishy. They're like um, a jelly bracelet. Do you remember those? They're just like a, a type of silicone that is flexible and just it, it literally, it's so soft. Um, that means that because they're soft for you, they're going to be incredibly soft for your clients. The tips aren't pokey. They're not scratchy and it is completely comfortable against the scalp. The tips are clear and so they pretty much vanish and they're super easy to hide. So they're going to blend in with your client's roots to a crazy degree, like better than even like better than any of the beads that I've seen um, anywhere. Um, also, <laughs> this is something that um, people don't necessarily expect. You get to cut these to the length that you want and that you are the best uh, or that are the best for you to work with. And everyone has slightly different preferences on this. This happens to be mine. These, this is for an installation that I did. So I like to cut my tips to be really short. This makes them super easy to insert into the beads. Um, and they are just really nice and durable. Um, they're durable enough to be installed um, multiple times. Um, I need to point out something here because you might not catch it by looking at this too. Um, most tipped systems rely on the hair strand being pushed up into the bead. So all of the hair for that strand has to be pushed up into like um, a linky or a micro ring. But um, in this system, that's not the case at all. Only the silicone strand is being pushed up into the flex tip, or sorry, the flex tip itself is being pushed up into the nano bead. Um, that means that the hair strand can be bigger because it sits just below the bond. So they're bigger than what you would actually put into a normal single micro ring bond. So not only are the attachment beads on the nanos themselves super tiny, but you actually get more hair per strand than you would in a pre-bonded or an I-tip system. So if you've been doing pre-bond and micro rings now, then I would really urge you to try this system because I think it's really going to blow you away because you can really get some nice fullness um, without the bulk of the beads at the base. It is just, it's so cool. Um, in our packages, there are 50 strands per package and every bundle has 10 tips. So there's five tips. You can see them in this picture. Um, this is the equivalent of like one full pack. So they're, they're gold wrapped every 10 pieces and 50 pieces total per package. And it takes an average of three packs to do a full lengthening service, but just one pack um, for a thickening service. Um, guys, just so you know, I'm seeing your questions come up in the chat. I want to keep going. Um, just that way we don't miss a beat. Um, but I will make sure that we come back to all of your questions in just a minute. 
Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the hair itself. The hair itself is 100% Remy human hair. Um, as you saw earlier, it is curling iron and heat styling friendly, and it's also incredibly soft, and it puts up with a ton of abuse. Um, this one is really important. Um, if you have purchased hair elsewhere outside of Dr. Locks, you, you'll, you, you may have had kind of a, a, a bad um, – a bad uh, situation with uh, having the ends be really stringy. Um, and what happens is if you have stringy ends in the pack, it is going to look stringy when you install it. So you end up cutting most of the length off to have it look like a good haircut. And our bonds for this, they keep their thickness all the way to the end so that you actually get all of that fullness um, so you don't have to cut it to where the bulk of the, the hair extension stops. Our beads are super impressive too. These are tiny, perfect nano beads. They are nickel free. So you're going to avoid most of the common metal allergies. They're super teeny tiny and they're available in silicone or unlined beads. <laughs> this picture, I love this picture. This is so crazy. This is how tiny they are. And this makes the dime look giant. So this is actually one of our silicone lined beads. And they're actually a little bit bigger than the unlined bead. So this is how incredibly small they are. Um, they come in several colors that you're going to be able to match to your client's root color. The silicone line beads are available for extra grip and those are for your clients with fine hair. So they have a bit more cushioning. So if you have a client that has slippage issues, um, they are going to love these. Um, <laughs> side note here, they're also really, a great, really great for people that have um, aggressive stylers. <laughs> you know who they are, people that really try to pull on their extensions. The silicone line um, adds a little bit of extra kind of cork to the inside. So um, they really help with your um, people that like to pull on their extensions. Um, tiny beads need tiny tools and the latch tools are my absolute favorite. Um, you can load up a ton of beads on this one at once so that you can really get your speed going. If you hate working with the latches, they will also work with your bead loader. You just need to pull um, the, the pull the hair into the loop and then you pull the hair onto the bead. Um, I do prefer the latch pulling tool, tool over the bead loaders because after you pull the bead onto the hair, the latch is going to release the hair faster and every little bit of speed will matter because ultimately like you're trying to cut down your extension installation time to really maximize your profit. So now the nano opener that you will see in a minute on the next slide is technically has a closer part to that, but I don't recommend using the closing part on that tool because, well, frankly, this tool is just better. Um, the smooth closer tool that you can see here is super tiny at the tips. And what that means is that you can get your attachments closer to the scalp and flatter to the head. So this is the tool that I use and the one that I recommend. And I really like this a lot. I actually use this for all of my braidless weaves. I use it for my nanos. I just, it's a very versatile tool because it's so small and it's so smooth on the inside that it doesn't mar your beads. Um, so this is your opener tool. Now I've actually designed all these tools myself. So um, if you wanna know any of the specifics, we can, we can get into that. Um, this is the opener tool and it has everything. Um, it has the slotted opener at the tips because having the slot at the tip is actually really important because if you have a bond that needs to be opened but it's still tight to the head, you can't open it if your slot is further down on your tool. So like if you have the slot that's like midway up in, you know, not next to the tips exactly, you're going to have to fight to pull, you know, basically put that all the way over the bond. So this one's super nice for that. The center part of the tool is designed with the smooth part that you can use for closing. And like I said, it's totally legit. You just can't get it as close to the head as you can with the smooth closer, but it's still good to use if you need one, um, if you need a closer. 
Um, the bottom part of this tool has a cross hatched area and the cross hatched area, <laughs> we use this um, because if you accidentally mangle a bead, like when you're trying to open it or you didn't crimp it straight or maybe you didn't have the slots exactly um, parallel when you pressed it open, sometimes you'll accidentally like mangle a bead and it happens. It happens to all of us. Um, if that happens, you need a way to get that out of your client's hair so it's not just stuck in there forever. You have to cut their hair off. Like that's not a great thing. Um, so if it gets misshapen, you can use this section to gently compress it until the bead actually breaks and crumbles out of the hair. Just be really careful with this because if you compress it down too hard and aggressively, um, you can actually cut um, the natural hair and the extension hair. Um, but it is good to have the cross hatches on here because the last thing that you want to do is have a client in your in your chair and have them be like and have them hear you say like uh oh and you have to explain what just happened. So this tool has everything and it'll get you through the worst of the worst situations. So let's take a look at what the nano system looks like compared to other systems. In this slide, left to right, you can see the image um, has tapins on the left, there is a wefted system in the center, and then nano beads on the right. Now, I love all of these systems, but this is just what it looks like when you have your bonds uncovered, right? So all of these systems are super great. I teach all these. These are the most legit systems on the market. I love every single one of them, but if you have to have them exposed, you can, you can see what happens here like the tapes are you know the tapes in the wefts are are easy to see and then the nano beads um right here they are really hard to pick out even though you're looking right at them i don't have a close-up on the um oops sorry got some other things popping up here um i don't have a close-up of the um eye tip beads or the micro ring beads um, next to the nanos. I wish I did. It's a slide that I need to make. But um, just for reference, the beads on those are about, I'd say, four to five times bigger than what you get with the nano system. They're just so tiny. Um, nanos also have all of the great properties of the beaded systems, but uh, they don't have any, they don't use any chemicals. Um, they have a stronghold and they're super easy to remove. Since the amount of hair in each extension for the nanos is bigger than a traditional um, eye tip, they are a lot faster to install as well. So let me know in the chat if you guys are getting excited about this system because you should be seeing the benefits over other systems at this point. This is my favorite system right now. I absolutely just love it. It, um, it just speaks to me. Like there's, it's so nice to be able to pack in so much hair but still have the bonds be so completely tiny so what are clients saying about this system it's all about whether they like it or not right because it kind of doesn't matter what you think it has everything to do with the client experience so the biggest benefit to your client is going to be comfort. These are comfortable on the scalp from day one. There's no pulling. There's no scratching. Um, they're just really nice and comfortable. Another benefit that is going to be your to your client is the ability to be able to put the hair up. Since these bonds have a complete 360 degree full rotation in any direction, they can be upstyled without poking out in super bizarre ways. So you know how if you've ever tried to put up like uh, tapes or wefts and they, they didn't pivot across that fold, um, they can kind of stick out a little bit. Um, so these ones just don't. They're just really nice and compact and easy to style for either partial updos or full updos. They're just awesome. Um, another thing that your clients are going to love is how easy they are to hide. And this is a close-up, and I think this shows really well. They're still really hard to see, even on the close-up. I They're just mind-blowingly awesome that way. So then we get to the big question. Every stylist wants to know how much money do I need to spend and how much money can I make? So 
I've got some great news for you. These flex tips only require a small investment to get started. And on average, you can make over $500 per full installation. So you're only going to need to invest in basic tools. And that's a closer, an opener, a pulling tool, and your nano beads. And in most cases, the client pays for their hair before the service, usually with their deposit. That's the most common way it's done. And that is a separate um, kind of fee for them depending on what hair they want because depending on whether they want longer hair or shorter hair and lighter colors versus darker colors a lot of times that's going to change the um, cost for the hair for your client so they would pay for the installation fee and the hair separately so you don't as a stylist would not be um, paying for their hair that's that's what they would pay they would just pay you for the installation even though you would normally pay place the order for their hair for them. Anyway, more on that in another webinar in a different class. Um, so the thing that you'll need to restock, like once you've got your basic tools down, um, the, oops, sorry, we'll get to a different slide. Um, once you've got your basic tools, you um, really are only restocking your nano beads. And those are about $14. And those are going to last you for multiple installations. So we have an amazing deal on our professional starter kits today. The normal retail on those is $89.95, which is still an awesome deal, you guys, for all of your tools. Um, but we have a special price for just our webinar attendees, and that's for $59.95. And all of the tools that you saw um, earlier, well, with the exception of it doesn't have a looper tool, but everything else that you need, the closer, the opener, your pulling tool, your beads, it even includes practice hair. So I'm going to give you uh, more details on that in just a second. Um, so to recap today, everything that we've gone over, you have learned what the flex tip nanos are, all of the pieces to the system. You saw how they compare to other systems. You learned what your clients are gonna love about them. And you also saw that it only takes a small investment, and we're talking like under a hundred bucks, to start practicing and building your own hair business. So I know that you are here today because you are really interested in creating amazing transformations. I know that you want to use the most modern hair extension system available and you're ready to upgrade your skills and make more money, right? <laughs> so now is your time. It's your time to experience these empowering makeovers for yourself. It's time to stop wondering how the pros do it. It's time for you to create those professional hair transformations for yourself. So this system has already helped hundreds of professional stylists build their careers. And I, even though I've been doing hair extensions for a long time, I don't have any special abilities or advantages up my sleeve either. I don't have any secret tools that I haven't shown you. I just have a system that really works. And if I can do this, I promise you, you can too. So today, I want to hook you up with the Flex Tip Nano Workbook and the toolkit to get you practicing. So normally we sell these kits for $89.95 and that doesn't include the workbook. So if you get this later, you're not gonna get the workbook. The workbook is just my gift to you for coming to the webinar. The kit comes stocked. You're gonna get the premium stainless tools, the pulling tool, the full size jar of beads, and the hair. It has a really nice kit box too. So everything is just comes like fully bundled for you. Um, all of this we're selling today for $59.95 and that's 30 bucks off. You can literally get started practicing with these for under $60 and that includes shipping too. As long as you're in the USA, that is everything shipped. It's a crazy good deal and we are not going to offer this again for this price. So if you don't have one of these kits already, make sure that you get it today. This is Trish Lusek. She uses our Flex Tip Nanos, and what she says is that from a client perspective, I love my hair. I have had minimal shedding, and the rings don't slip, and I always have slipping with other extensions. I'm also really impressed with the quality of the hair. It is much better than SoCap, Boheme, Great Lengths, and if you've ever tried any of these, you guys, that is some really high praise. Um, and she also says, I have washed it several times, and it is still perfect. She says, I can't even feel the hair. There's no pulling or tightness, no problems getting comfortable, even to sleep on it for the first night. 
So here's another one from Ashley. Isn't this iced out color just absolutely amazing? Um, she says that she absolutely loves the fullness and the quality of the Flex Tip Nanos. So everyone that came today is going to get the Flex Tip Workbook for free. This has all of your installation basics and a bit more in detail than we could really go into in this webinar about the system. So just enter your email into the form just below this video and the workbook will be sent to you. When we send you the workbook, um, it will have the link in it to our super top secret kit sale and only you guys are getting that link. So this is this is just for you. It's just for the webinar. It's not going to be repeated. It's also only discounted for a few more hours. So make sure that you get in on it if you are interested. Um, if you don't make it in time, don't worry. The kit will still be available for sale, but the price is just going to go up after that. So now is the time that we get to open it up to Q&A. So if anyone has any questions or comments, let me know in the chat. And I know I saw some questions go um, in there. So let me just recap what's been going on um, in the chat since I've had my eyeballs glued to um, our screens with our slides. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Where are we at? Is there a professional discount on the hair? There is. Yeah, if you... Um, go to drdlocks.com. There is a beauty professional um, pricing. If you apply, then um, that will get applied to your um, account. And then all of the pricing on the site is discounted. So there, I don't remember exactly what the Flex Tip Nano price goes down by, but it's about 10% on that. And um, so you can also make money on the hair too if you're selling to your um, clients. Let's see what else is in here. Um, yeah, Chris, so you ordered yours yesterday. That's so awesome. Um, you're going to love this kit. Um, if we are live, do we need a special code for the kit? I, you probably already caught on um, to this, but no. Um, the uh, code is the the link to it is actually sent in the email um, once you get your workbook it'll be in with that email so just check your check your inbox and it will be sent to you um, are we able to give a color preference on the sample hair no unfortunately the kits are already pre-packaged it's a really cool color though um, the color is let's see if I can go back in our slides um, yeah, this is the color that's in it. It's kind of like a, it's a little bit lighter than, um, an auburn. So it's kind of a, a really good kind of ashy low light. Um, how many grams per strand? That is going to depend on whether or not it is an 18 inch or a 22 inch because they are slightly different. We put more gram weight into the 22 inch so that we didn't have to have, um, smaller strands. I oh, I don't want to give you the wrong numbers. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Nervies, if you know, go ahead and shout that out. I am not sure how much it is per strand, but I can definitely get you that info after. I think it's going to take too much time to find it. Um, is the sample hair the same quality as the strands in the regular packs? Absolutely. Yeah. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have that any other way. I don't want you guys practicing on things that are not um, the same quality because I think it gives you a different kind of impact. If, if you have a synthetic hair, it's going to um, lay in a bit different. Okay. So thank you, Crystal. Um, the 18 inch is 40 grams. So if you divide that by 50, the 22 is 50 grams, so and there's 50 strands per pack, so um, that's going to be one gram per strand. They're really generous. Um, let me show you guys um, what this looks like. I'm going to come back to uh, you guys live here. Hello. Um, so this is a full installation that I did with the, um, with the Nanos, and... Um, the strands themselves, they look like this. So they're nice and full. They're really big. Um, 
they just they they pack in so well that um, it creates a really full installation really quickly. So that's that's what I have for for the 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 tip kind of gram weight overall. So it'd be just under one gram for the 18 inch and then one full gram for the 22s. Um, let's see, what else you got? So the quality, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the quality. So when when you have a quality um, that's different and you were doing practice with it, what you're gonna see is that like, say if some, some companies will give you like a synthetic um, so that you can just practice with just the tips, but what you see down here is that they'll get really piecey and really stringy. The higher the quality of the hair, um, the more that just kind of stays like loose and open and kind of full. So I want you guys to see that because the quality on this hair is amazing. It's just, it's buttery and perfect. And I don't know, it's just, it's just really great. So um, since I really like it, I want you guys to be able to have that as well. So um, it kind of looks like things are quieting down a little bit in the chat. Thank you guys so much for coming. Um, it means the world to not be talking to myself in this. So, um, oh my goodness, I didn't, I'm so sorry. I just realized that I did not transition you guys to see that product shot at all. So let me do that over for you. Um, so this is what I was trying to show you, um, is that this is actually a full, um, so this is a full strand right here. So this is this is how full they actually are. It's really nice and and full, um, and that this is this is how the hair lays in because it's like that good quality is going to be nice and. Um, nice and full for you so it doesn't get stringy and weird like a synthetic would um so a couple more questions that just came through um i have a problem with the bead breaking during the reinstall um yeah so on this kind um not so much with the linkies the linkies are durable they will get you through multiple installations with the same bead um the uh these you will need to replace the bead every single time because it's really thin and really fine copper that's actually inside there. They compress really flat, but they don't um, they don't open very well because they get brittle, which which is a good thing too because then if you like accidentally do like mangle them and compress them into the hair, you can get those out really easy just by like kind of compressing them kind of back and forth until they just kind of break. Um, so you're always able to get them out of the hair really easy. Um, so do, uh, okay, let's see. How long does the hair last with good care? Honestly, we, I haven't ever seen anybody like with the end of a life cycle on this hair yet. Um, we have had this hair now um, in testing. We got this almost a year ago and we have manufactured it to carry it for about six months. Um, the, if you take good care of it, it will last you a really long time and I, it easily three or four installations. So um, I recommend, I have a troubleshooting guide I can send you guys if anybody wants it, just let me know. Um, it has all of my care tips in it. I recommend Amiga products. I think they're really great. Um, but as long as you're taking really good care of the hair, it's gonna last you. It's gonna last you um, a long, long time. Um, let's see. Why do the beads keep breaking? The blonde beads in particular seem to always break. Is that for your nano system or I'm not sure why they would be any different because the inside construction is the same. Um, if you um, send me an email to um, melinda at drlocks.com um, after this and um, I can try to see if we can kind of figure out um, Kind of what's going on with those for you i'm not really sure why that would be um, any different how long do the tips last for um same thing if if you are just doing your installs and you're you know not being really aggressive with the tips by like you know accidentally like nicking into them with your scissors um or your um crimpers uh those they they last kind of indefinitely they're they're a silicone so they kind of once you compress them, um, 
they just kind of spring back into the same shape. So unless they get cut, they they pretty much last indefinitely as well. Um, are they heavy for fine-haired clients? No, <laughs> actually not at all. Um, we have a lot of people that we recommend um, these for because, because they do take um, – they take such a, a fine amount of hair, especially if you're using like the silicone lined ones, you can just use a tiny amount of hair. And as long as the only thing that I will say is this, if you have somebody that has a concern, if they have um, like tension alopecia, I would watch how they do with those, but typically not at all. They're actually really nice because you can pack them in so close to the part line and still have that coverage. So, um, so I would say no, not I've never seen that be a problem unless there were some other kind of inherent issues going on with that install. Um, will we be able to add a coloring sample to our starter kit? Um, not with the deal because the the link to the deal is kind of its own um, card. It's kind of its own uh, uh, checkout system. It's just a just that's the one product that comes in there, but. Um, we actually don't have color rings in stock right now because we're revamping them to add all the new colors so that you guys won't miss out. If you were to order them now and we, you know, didn't have the rest of the colors and that would kind of suck because we added, I think it was like six new colors. Um, and we added things like silver and, um, these really gorgeous ash tones and, um, a couple more, more new blondes that are like really icy. You guys are going to love these. So, um, those I believe are going back on pre-order today if they haven't already, but those are going to be just on our regular on our regular site under um, the nano hair section. I will I will double check on that for you after after this. Um, does the cup the copper rust without the silicone lining? No, it shouldn't. Um, no, it I've never even seen this style have that demarcation some of the other copper tube systems have um but i have never seen this one do anything with um discolorations at all um do you trim the flex tip at the top or leave it the length that comes in the package no i definitely i definitely um like how um i i basically trim it to about maybe like two millimeters just across the top. So when I take my bundles out, I use an extension stand. So I kind of, I take my, my bundle out and as I'm unwrapping and I hold it, I just cut the tips before I set it into the stand so that all the tips are um, basically ready to go. Um, so it's really fast and they're just really nice for installation because you only need like a little bit. If you leave the tips long, what's going to happen is they get kind of bendy. So they get harder to put into the beads themselves. So I always cut them down to just a, just a couple um, millimeters sticking up out of the top. Um, do we have any reds? Yeah, there is a really great um, 33 mahogany that is in the system that I really love. Um, the I'm not sure exactly what the what the full extension is. I know that we got in some really great samples of some coppers. I don't. I know that they're not coming in on this production run. But the more requests that we have for reds, the more that we'll add. Um, if we don't have it in this time, then um, you can always tint this hair. Um, so I would get something that's close and then just um, add in like your red tones over the right level um, if we don't have it exactly spot on. This hair takes color really well. Um, it's just, it's beautiful. Um, are nano tips suitable for senior women's hair, which tends to be thinning? Yeah. Will the weight of the tips encourage fallout? No, um, I, I think we addressed this a, a little bit um, a second ago. It, there, it's really great actually for... Um, for people with thinning hair, um, unless you have some other kind of factor. Like sometimes people with alopecia um, or any kind of like tension alopecia will already have issues where they shouldn't probably have anything on their hair. But if you just have regular old thin hair that's just thin, um, you're, you're going to be fine to use the system. The weight on it is really actually pretty nice. Um, it, it doesn't get too heavy or too, um, too hard to hold those bonds at all. Especially if you're doing the silicone because it adds as a nice gripper, but the weight isn't a problem. Um, how long is an average application? So um, you mean like how I, – I assume you mean probably like how long can you leave it in for? Um, you can leave in an 
an in installation like this I, I like to say don't go over three months. The thing is, these will last in your hair. Like so, so when you have an installation, what's gonna happen is over time, these bonds are just gonna they're just gonna continue to grow out, right? So um, once you once you start having them get kind of annoying for styling and things like that, that's when you're gonna know that you personally kind of like you you need to to re redo them, um, but the bigger factor than that, like just as a general rule for extensions across the board, I always say don't leave your extensions in longer than three months because what's going to happen is at three months, you're going to have a lot of grow out. But the other thing that's going to happen is that this growth down here isn't, it's not allowing you to um, kind of comb out the shed and really make sure that that, head, that hair at the base isn't kind of dreading and locking up. So you want to make sure that you're maintaining the the health of your client's hair because obviously um, if you have a an issue with with dreading at the base then the kind of the point of your extensions is lost a little bit which i assume is to have like you know kind of healthier thicker fuller hair and then you kind of just ruin it if you don't maintain the natural hair right so that's what i say on that um up to three months but but don't go longer than that because it's just it's just silly um do you plan on getting shorter lengths or will 18 inch be the shortest? Um, that is a good question. You know, this, um, this has been such a crazy ride with this system. Um, no joke. Like we did not expect to sell out as fast as we normally, when we bring in a line, um, it, it will take a while to kind of build up in its popularity. This one has just been like, boom, like we got it in and it was like, whew, it was just gone. So we have ramped up our production by a ton. And we're just kind of in this weird transition uh, period where in about two weeks from now to, yeah, it's mid-May, we will have a huge shipment with all of our new colors. Um, we don't have anything planned yet for the shorter lengths but the like same with colors like the more that we get request wise um the more that we hear you guys and if you guys need it yeah for sure we will totally build it um it wouldn't surprise me if we end up getting a 14 inch length in 18 is the most popular 22 being the second most popular but then 14s we're really starting to see um start to sell more again so it wouldn't surprise me if we end up um adding a 14 inch length in this system as well um when do you expect the kits to ship um today <laughs> tomorrow um we have them ready to go so if you order them they're out the door so um you should get them um you know what however long it takes to ship i think i think they're all shipping priority so couple days two to three days probably um is it more popular than tape extensions no um not i mean well it depends on it depends on what you mean by popular um sales wise tape hair is just it's easy it's um it's a completely different kind of look and feel um tape hair is more widely known and so for us the uh popularity is um it's surprisingly similar like for having only having this system in and really like selling for the last six months it's kind of mind-blowing that we are even having outage issues at the moment um we've got a lot of colors on pre-order everything's like coming in um but yeah um our our tapes have gotten really popular as well so those have been flying out but i would definitely say because the tape um just because of the the um, popularity that the tapes already had this system is so new so popularity wise not not as much yet um you said this is a faster installment how long typically who um it it kind of just depends um it i would say I mean, if you if you are already doing eye tips, because you're gonna need to install like fewer bonds, I would kind of gauge it from there. Um, the way that I teach this in my class is I say to budget for about 
um, you, 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 sorry, <laughs> you basically budget for about a hundred dollars an hour. And I say to budget for four hours, but then also have a prepaid, um, removal period. So four hours for the install, an hour for the removal. But honestly, you, you can get it done in a lot faster than that. That's just kind of how we work out the pricing. So the faster that you work towards your, your flat rate, then the more money you make, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> okay, your two cents is noted. I see you. So I'll definitely note that we want the 14 inch in there and definitely see if I can't get that like pushed forwards um, towards a production run. Because I, to be honest, I would, I would actually really like to see a 14 inch as well. Um, so we'll see what we can do there. Right now, 18 is going to be the closest that we have for a minute. Um, is it more comfortable than the tapes? Um, I honestly, yes. Um, because this again, um, when you have when you have tapes, um, let me find a row for you. So when you have a tape in system, like let's say like your bond is maybe like this wide, right? So you, you have an, a tape in installed. All of this hair, all of this natural hair is going to be bound kind of into your bond. So with these bonds, you actually have just a tiny amount of hair. But also with your tape in extensions, they are gonna have to fold kind of over that pivot point or over that axis. So like say if you wanna do styling, it's really hard to kind of go back if you have your pivot point here, you have to pivot over your fold, right? So with these ones, because the bonds have a 360 degree rotation, you can put these in any direction and they're not gonna feel kind of awkward. So as long as you don't have any crosshairs, which are those hairs that kind of sneak in from other from other kind of sections that aren't supposed to be there, they're actually incredibly comfortable. Um, it's, it's the um, only system that I can really say that you can't really even feel them. And even over like beads and links. So if you have a client that is really discerning, put, it, put these on them because um, tapes are going to drive them crazy. Same with wefts. Um, these ones are just, you just don't, you don't feel it in the same way. Um, will you be offering another online extension class? Yes. Um, and this is showing all of the types. So absolutely. Um, we have our full program going right now. Um, we only have a few more weeks in that. And then, um, we are going to be working on, um, some other new ones. I, I'm not exactly sure when that one will reopen again because we originally said that we weren't probably going to reopen that until September. Um, but it'll probably be sooner than that for like the full, the full thing. Um, we are going to probably be doing, it's so hard to say exactly what the schedule for that is going to look like because I have all these things that I really want to produce. Um, and so a lot of it is just kind of getting, that on a little bit more of a linear track so we will be doing we will definitely be doing um, another online extension class um, for all of the systems um, within a reasonable amount of time um, are there any concerns with coloring the roots on these um, so yes <laughs> I mean Anytime that you color over extensions, um, to, I assume you mean for like the client, like if they had to do a root retouch or anything, um, the only real concern is that wherever your um, extension sits, so you have these, these tiny little beads in here, the color is not going to get under those tiny pinpoints. So you will have just wherever these beads are, like the tiniest um, little spot that's like, not going to accept the color. The other thing is that these, um, the top parts of the flex tips themselves, just this tiny little part right here, um, is not going to accept color. So whatever you um, do, like just know that if you are going to be coloring, that, um, that, that this part is, like if you're trying to change the extension color is what I'm saying. <laughs> like obviously like if this is for your client's hair color, like you don't, you don't care if this accepts color or not. But um, so just make sure that you're kind of keeping that in mind, I guess is all I really want to say. So 
<clears throat> so there's no there's no like if you're if you're thinking like comparatively to like fusion or something where the um, chemicals and the color is going to break down your bonds these ones won't these ones won't slip they won't budge they won't do anything they're just going to sit there until you remove them but um, they if you do put color on that part it will leave a little line of demarcation but I also have to say like with the good news is if you did a full color before you put your extensions in then the part where your beads already sit already have the color on them so as they grow out and you just need to do the root retouch there's absolutely no problem there at all so you can just continue to do their root retouches and it's all good <laughs> so hopefully i think that's kind of everything and um if you guys have any more questions i guess just um let me know oh I see one more that I didn't get to. Um, do you get airport security question or the MRI question a lot? Um, yeah, actually, we we do. Um, and the honest answer is, again, I don't know. I, I think airport security thing kind of changes all the time. Um, I know that the last time that um, – I mean, you can, you can definitely – go and get on an airplane like they're not going to make you take your hair out or anything will they see them in the scan probably um i know that the last time that i was at an airport like i had i had embellishments like all over my skirt and like my entire skirt like lit up and i got the thorough pat down so i can imagine that if you had them in your hair they're they're going to see some type of metal they don't care um but they'll ask you about them um in terms of the mris um yeah, I think mean, like somebody else also said like yeah you you probably don't want to have any metal in for your MRI, but um, so so yeah if you're if you're if you need a system that doesn't have um, metal in it for an MRI tapes are great for that um, they're gonna be fine and if you fly a lot that's you know gonna be another thing too if you just don't want to have people like looking at your hair at all. Um, but yeah, all those things. Are there ombre options for the hair? Um, yeah, the um, we just there there isn't right now. But I can tell you this a hundred percent. In just a few months, there will be because we just got in um, from our manufacturers some of the most beautiful color palettes so I can tell you that those are definitely in the works and coming down the pike um hopefully hopefully sooner than later because they are gorgeous they're absolutely to die for there's some like really nice ashy browns that melt into these beautiful silvers they are just they're so perfect um okay so I think we've talked about everything um so I'm going to jump off because um, it looks like things are quieting down a little bit. Um, this video will be available on this page um, for the replay for a little bit um, for probably the next 24 hours, basically until the, the kit sale is over. So if you know anyone that would be interested in this, please, please, please share this with them. Um, I would be really excited to have as many people know about this as possible. I just think it's so great. Um, so thank you so much for coming, and I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.